But there is a reason they sit behind or beside every successful man and a woman is to hide the clear facts. It is the annual conference of the Chartered Institute of Arbitrators as lawyers and arbitrators converge on Abuja to brainstorm with the theme Arbitration and ADR in Africa, Challenges, Gains and Lessons for the Future. The chairman of the Nigeria branch of the Institute sets the tone for the event. Judicial support to the work of the CIR in dispute resolution is essential. Given the years of experience of our judges on the art of judging, irrespective of the difference, between judgments and awards. Together, we can bring our respective skills to the arbitration and ADR community and further decongest our courts. The Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice and the President of the Chartered Institute of Arbitrators share their thoughts on the role of arbitration. Africa, and of course Nigeria, is moving away from the traditional court system of dispute resolution and fast embracing arbitration and other forms of alternative dispute resolution mechanisms which are considered more efficient. It is a very important machine within Africa in the development of private dispute resolution. And it's playing a part, it has played a part, and will continue to play a part in the development of private dispute resolution across the continent. In a panel discussion, the Chief Justice of Nigeria commends the use of alternative dispute resolution in order to enhance peaceful resolution of disputes. This uh, arbitration and things like that, it, it has been part and parcel of our system from time to time, apart from the African best of it. The, our high court rules from, from the time that the high court was known as the Supreme Court of, of Nigeria, of Southern Nigeria, had provisions for settlement out of court. That is arbitration. The two-day conference is aimed at examining the challenges of arbitration and alternative dispute resolution in Africa and pick out lessons for the future.